what did it look like especially the us now what did the profile look like in terms of your gpa if you are comfortable sharing that um did you write tests did you have publications what does your profile look like um so again i think that my strong point was just um at the time my work experience and my gpa right i didn't okay. have any publications it was a master's so you know there, there was no um stress on like you know a lot of publications for me um so my job experience i was working as um a digital marketing officer and i actually no when i applied i was um doing my nysc i was in my nysc at um at the at a non-profit so okay. i was doing a lot of like social all the social good like women empowerment and i yeah. think that my selling point was also my sop um before then i hadn't done except you know the work that i'd done as a social media manager um and also the work i was doing during my nysc and maybe you know my school record for example i i had like you know some leadership positions during my undergrad so you know i just used that as you know um a strong point like just to make my point in my sop there was really um nothing um that i could think about that you know made me stand out like publication wise um no there wasn't at the time of my application i think i just built a strong sop based off of my um my prior you know achievements maybe in school and also the leadership positions i held and also the work experience that i had so you were able to use your sop to tell a great story to sell yourself as the yes. ideal candidate for the program Yes, and also, you know, my research interests, you know, again, that's what you write in your SOP. So um, you you kind of try to tie everything together to say, okay, this is what I want to study. I feel like your research interest is also a key thing in, you know, helping you. Yeah, you might be a great student and everything, but if you don't have an intent of what to study and, you know, giving them like a long-term plan, like, okay, I want to be in academics or um, I want to be in the industry doing this, doing that, um, I don't think that you're going to make a headway. So I think that, you know, my research interest and how I explained it, you know, pay, played a key role in, in my getting the admission. Yes, I completely agree. I completely agree um, on the importance of an SOP, especially. And there are very few universities that don't require you to submit an SOP. And I consider that unfair because you can't like tell your story. You can't connect all the threads, all the dots of the experiences you had, shine your light on yourself. Yes, and why they should admit you and give you scholarships. So speaking about scholarship, the Bowling Green State University, our alma mater, was the only university that gave you scholarship. So did it, did it come automatically or did you have to do a separate application for it? Um, so it, it came. So here's the thing, though, because my admission came in 2020. Um, but I did not um, resume school in 2020. I had to, I deferred the admission until 2021. Um, when it came in 2020, it didn't come with any funding. Now you, you, know, mean fall, like, you mean fall 2020, right? Yeah, fall of 2020. And I also have actually applied very late. Maybe I should mention that. I applied very late. I applied in June, right? And then I was given the admission in July and then I had to resume August. But then I, I, I couldn't I couldn't resume given like the short time frame. But but here's the thing. Um, I deferred it to 2021 and then I told them, you know, I would really like to be considered for funding. I told the graduate coordinator that, you know, it would mean a lot to me um, given my financial situation. I'm not able to sponsor myself um, for my master's, so I really love to be considered, you know, when they do their next round of admission um, for funding. Okay. So in 2021, um, I was I was sent like the um, the offer. So it, I didn't do any interview separately. I just had to indicate to them that I needed the funding, and you know I'm willing to resume in 2021 if I was given the funding, and that's exactly what happened. Okay, that was really good. That was that was really good. Making the sacrifice for a year so that you can now come in with money, and yeah, it made it made it 
so that when they were planning, because usually like funding decisions are made for a new academic year that starts in the fall. So they were planning that new funding this thing. Chim Wendu's name was there. Exactly. 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 <laughs> that was a short clip from the full interview if you enjoyed this video then smash the subscribe button when you subscribe it motivates us to find other stories like this that makes your journey easier so again hit the subscribe button to watch the complete interview click this video next so you can get other tips and hacks that we shared i'll see you there